Interesting question. This has been sent here from Glenn Deal. It's a good question. He says, regardless of our size, how do we in the event industry engage our clients in a strategic, consultive, value-added versus a tactical, execution, fulfillment, commoditized conversation? And Glenn, like this is, to what Mel said earlier, this is what I've been talking about since September on this show, is that's a shift that we're trying to make. I mean, so if you have any answers, I'd love to hear them. But for us, it's just a matter of the fact that like the execution and the fulfillment, it is commoditized, specifically in the trade show section. I don't know about your section, but it's completely commoditized. But what's not commoditized is the strategy, the consultative, the value add, the conversations that you're having to say, why are we doing this? And how are we going to do it really, really, really well? And I can tell you as a company that I'm ramming this down my salespeople throats to have these conversations, to say no to clients that don't want to work this way, which we have been doing is very difficult. You will find some people will take to it and they want to engage with you. And then you have some people that's like, Hey, I need you to build me a booth. That's all I need. I think it's up to you, Glenn. This is just my take, Aaron. I'll let you go in a second. I think it's up to you, Glenn, to say, what are you going to consult them on that brings them value? And then who is the person that you need to talk that that message is going to resonate with? Some will take it, some won't, in my opinion. Yeah, I think it's like anything else, right? Every few years, you know, every AOR gets evaluated, some get fired, whatever else. That's just par for the course, right? You, you don't get to keep clients for a long time. So I think, Glenn, in this case, size shouldn't really be the issue if you can show how you're delivering value, right? And so I think it's just a matter of, You might want to prepare a business report. You might want to prepare like, here's our rates. Here's our value. We have three tiers to get signed. We prefer to work as an MSA. We charge a minimum fee of X amount for management for each project. However it is, right? You don't want to make it based on the actual execution. We don't charge for execution, right? Ever. We charge for project management. Now, again, our end result is amazing events, right? We rent a chair, we charge the client for a chair. We rent a full rig and lighting and staging and, and the whole bit, we charge the client for that. We show them all that, we, we do the renders and drawings, whatever else, but what we're charging for is the project, the work, the time, the results, right? All of those things. And so yeah. generally that's in a fairly good, substantial management fee, which covers all of that stuff. It covers the results and it covers our pre-time. Right. And everything else is just the vehicle to to make that bottom line. 